Hello, it's the people Toby here, back with another YouTube video. In this YouTube video, as you can see on the screen right now, I'm going to do in reacting to what people, everyone online have been calling the worst apology video ever. This is about Miranda Singh. I think her name is Colin Bridges or something like that. And he made this reaction video. In this reaction video, she's playing the ukulele. And she looked like he's not taking it serious. That's the main reason why people are not liking this this um, apology. But let's actually deep dive into the apology to see more in depth what is actually pissing people off about this apology. So, the stop talking for you can't really look at it, you're looking at the camera. Hey, it's been a while since you saw my face. I haven't been doing so great, so I took a little break. So a lot of people are saying some things about me that aren't quite true. It doesn't matter if it's true, though. Just as long as it's entertaining to you. Right? You guys having fun? All aboard the toxic gossip train. Chugging down the tracks of misinformation, the toxic gossip train. You got one. So, my first clue on why people hate it. People came out with screenshots that they she groomed her, and she was sending West, West, weird messages to them. I saw a TikTok of messages. I didn't really meet, read the messages, so I don't know what the messages said. Um, but yeah, but basically he's saying these are gossip. Classic gossip and his misinformation basically saying it's not true. It might not be true, or maybe he forgot, maybe it was an older self, but I think it's probably is true. But most of the time, when this situation where um, a YouTuber is messing with other people, it's, it's normally true. The moment they normally deny it, deny it, then it comes out that it's true and everything is true. So, yeah, we got. Station, station, toxic gossip train. Tie me to the tracks and harass me for my past. Cause rumors look like facts. If you don't mind the gaps, I won't survive in the crash. But hey, at least you're having fun. Uh, hi, everyone. I've been wanting to come online and talk to you about a few things. Um, even though my team has strongly advised me to not say what I want to say, I recently realized that they never said that I couldn't sing what I want to say. So, here I am, and um, today I only want to talk about the facts. So, I hope that you'll be willing to listen. Here we go. Many years ago, I used to message my fans uh, but not in a creepy way, like a lot of you are trying to suggest. It was more of a loser kind of way, where I was just trying to be besties with everybody. She admitted that she messaged the fans, but she said it wasn't in a creepy way, it was in a loser kind of way. So, if she messages her fans, and her fans come up with um, grooming allegations about messaging, it's possibly true. It's kind of like uh, when you go to like a family gathering, you know, and there's a weird aunt there who keeps coming up to you and going like, Hey girl, what's the tea? And you're like, Ugh. Um, that was me. But in group chats with my fans. It was weird. I've been sharing my life online for over 15 years. I've poured my heart out to you and because of that I feel like I'm talking to my friends. But in the beginning of my career, I didn't really understand that maybe there should be some boundaries there. There were times in the DMs when I would overshare details of my life, which was really weird of me. I haven't done that for years, you see, because I changed my behavior and I took accountability. But that's not very interesting, is it? So let's go on the toxic gossip train. The locomotive's fueled with hateful accusations. The toxic gossip train. Steamroll over someone's reputation. Toxic gossip train. Hop on board but close your eyes, otherwise you'll realize 
But the train is made of lies, and that person you despise maybe didn't deserve to die, but hey, at least you're having fun. In all seriousness, I do think it's really important to hold people accountable for their mistakes. Um, you know, we should hope that everyone can learn from their mistakes and grow and change their behavior and be a better person. And this is something that I've always tried to do when I make mistakes, and it's something that I will continue to try to do. What? Oh, you don't care? Oh, okay. I thought you wanted me to take accountability, but that's not the point of your mob mentality, is it? No. Your goal is to ruin the life of the person you despise while you dramatize your lies and monetize their demise. Like I can already hear the comments on this video. She's gaslighting, manipulating, oh, she's a narcissist and a rat. I would never make a mistake like that. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't realize that all of you are perfect, so please criticize me. Bring out the daggers made from your perfect past and stab me repeatedly in my bony little back. I'm sure you're disappointed in my shitty little song. I know you wanted me to say that I was 100% in the wrong. Well, I'm sorry. I'm not going to take that route of admitting to lies and rumors that you made up for clout. So hey, everybody, I found someone new to harass. She did some things that I do not like in her past. So everybody gather around because we're about to attack, but not based on facts. Oh, no. Your loaded lethal weapon is your fingers on the keys. You don't need any armor when you can hide behind a screen. So shoot me down quick with a click and bam. My reputation's deceased. Uh, I also wanted to take a minute to talk about that girl Miranda sings. You know the one. Yeah, her? Uh, she's PG-13. It says that on my website, and it's always been that way. And that's why you won't find my videos on the YouTube Kids app. Anyway, um, I didn't realize it was my responsibility to decide what was appropriate for every kid to see. I've always relied on parents to decide if they're comfortable with their families watching my YouTube videos or coming to my live shows. Have I made some jokes in poor taste? Yes. Have I made lots of dumb What I think would be better if, if he actually stopped the singing and the ukulele and just addressed the situation. Even the, let's say this were, if let's say this were lies, she just didn't address the situation. She's not really addressing the situation. What she's saying is just lies, you're not addressing um how they may have come, how she felt about it, um what um, how she's gonna, if it's, if it's like, how she's gonna prevent this in the future, um, if she's taking legal action or not, um, or anything like that. She does singing, and she looks like she's trying to, um, obviously trying to make a positive or a negative, but there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, just that, I don't think she's really taking this seriously, to, to, to be honest. Uh, I don't know if, if my thinking of that is because I saw people putting it, this is the worst project ever. And I saw more people were doing it, so I'm going to kind of um, go in a, in a bad um, scene in a bad light because of that, or that because it seems like she's not really taking it seriously. But if you're watching this and you want to see this, see, do in the comment below. My last video didn't do too well, um, but hopefully this one, being a trending topic, will do better. So yeah. Mistakes, yes. Am I sad that there are some fans who feel betrayed? Yes. Was my intention to manipulate? No. It doesn't really matter what my intention was, because it seems as though everyone's already decided on that. Let me tell you, it's not very fun to have millions of people all over the world call you the most vile, horrendous, disgusting, life-ruining words that a person can be called, in my opinion. Um, it doesn't matter that these things aren't true. Uh, everyone just believes that you are the type of person who manipulates and abuses children. So I just wanted to say that um, the only thing I've ever groomed is my two Persian cats. I'm not a groomer. I'm just a loser who didn't understand I shouldn't respond to fans. Okay, what she, I don't think, I think she means that as in pet women, um, uh, yeah, but she says she's not a groomer, I guess that's, that's kind of interesting, isn't it, um, but yeah. And 
birds and I'm not a predator even though a lot of you think so because five years ago I made a fart joke. So, even though I know this video won't change anyone's mind about me. Okay, let's watch other people's reactions to this to see with... what they're saying about this. Like, okay, okay, okay. The certain one I want to watch, but I can't seem to find it. Um, they can see too many. So we'll go to Duck, the other one. Um, but we'll go to the Duck, not the one I want to listen and watch. Um, I, I don't know, I think his name is not Cryptical. Um, he's a well known YouTuber. Um, basically, um, he did. And I'm just gonna type in what his video and see how what comes up there. Um, yeah. So yeah. If you were watching this months after, you watched the last one. You see, the last one had um, um, um YouTube without premium, but now we have premium. Um, so yeah. I'm I'm just signing up with um yearly subscription as much as I can. Uh, so, uh, with Penguin, that's it. His name is Penguin. So let's watch his reacting of it. So yeah, here we go. He goes, he, he's the one that made me want to see. Okay, I I seen the click on his channel. I was an really extra in the Hunger Games Mockingjay Part One. I know. Well, I never thought this day would come. A YouTuber just made an apology video worse than Sienna May's iconic interpretive dance. For those that don't remember, Sienna May was a TikToker accused of sexual assault, and for some reason she marched into the mines of Mordor and hatched the most diabolical plan of all time, forged the worst video apology ever, where it was an interpretive dance apology. So she starts fuck. Uh, basically, I'm just gonna get some more. I said water, but it's juice. It's actually syrup with water. I bought the syrup. I thought it was a drink. And I have nothing to um, take the syrup with. So I'm just diluting the water and drinking it. Uh, I shouldn't put to be doing that because it's probably not healthy. But yeah, I'm trying to go to the gym. I hope I rejoined the gym. So I will go to the gym once a week. I'm trying to do like, I'm going to try and do 30 minutes a week. 30 minutes a week. And I'm going to up it and up it as, as I, um, become more resilient i'm going to try and up and up it and up it and my, my goal is to do two hours of exercise a week two hours of gym a week and yeah there you go and i don't want to get muscles i don't want to keep fit i just want to keep fit yeah there you go. but this is nice though fucking boogieing out there doing some of this <clears throat> a little bit of a little bit of these, and by God, I'm ashamed to say it, but she even did some of this. Just kind of downplaying the entire situation, and keep in mind, it was sexual assault accusations that also had a video as well. So there was a ton of evidence, and she still just tried to do like an apology interpretive dance. I did not think there would ever come a time that someone makes a worse response than that, but hooey, how wrong I was. since you saw my face. I haven't been doing so great, so I took a little break. So a lot of people are saying some things about me that aren't quite true. Doesn't matter if it's true, though. Just as long as it's entertaining to you. That bleeding in your ears is normal. This is a ukulele 
apology video. She's turned her accusations and her response into a Disney musical number here, I suppose. She, she's got a whole little Broadway moment here. Exactly what I was talking about. Basically, she, with the, with the ukulele shit, she's not, she's not taking it seriously, right? And this is not a video that is targeted to children. Because my videos are not made for children. So I do swear, but, um, um, yeah. I do swear occasionally in my videos. But basically, my videos are not meant, made for children. But children might come across my videos. And um, basically, that's not my fault. That's the parents' fault. But I tried not to swear in my videos. Uh, yeah. Um, I might make, if I'm, if I'm, if I have a big enough following, I might make, like, cart I might get a petition to make cartoons. Um, and that are, are dedicated for children. But at the moment, I'm not, I'm not really... I'm um, taking my video for children, right? Okay. And when I get, when I actually, um, um, when I actually, what's it called? Can be bothered to read my rich dad poor dad book. I would do like a series where I read it and I give you the, the definition of what, um, yeah, because I think that would, that would look good for my channel. here to sing and talk about it. Now before getting into it, let me give some context on what she's apologizing for. Colleen Ballinger is most known for her Miranda Sings character. If you've been on YouTube for a long time, you've definitely heard that name before. She was a massive superstar on the platform. She even had her own Netflix show. And recently, another YouTuber named Adam McIntyre has really started to spearhead this information about her past and everything that's happened to them, as well as the group chat that she used to have with a lot of her fans that were minors, and the way she conducted herself. Uh, she's been accused of, like, asking for ass pics from her fans. So there's actually an article on this. Okay, this brings more to my video, so I'm actually going to read this once once it's, um, um, once the channel, um, once the title goes away, because I can't really see what it says here. Um, but, okay, I don't know if it's, if it's actually going to go away or not. It should, it should fade away soon. If it doesn't, we're just going to we'll read what we can. Okay. So, it says allegations. I don't know. I can't really read that. So let's, let's, let's and again, most of these fans are minor, were minors at the time. She'd even send really weird videos to their ass pics from her fans. And again, most of these fans are minor, were minors at the time. I'm trying to read this. Um, and he doesn't really put the website it is in. But let's read what we can. We can't read here because we can't see the the full... The first word, it's probably allegations, but that looks like an allegation. It looks like a public allegations or alleged allegations. Okay, I, I said so that's alleged, alleged allegations taken from a group chat that um I can't print, I can't read now. Um, I'm Boina, but I know he said it. Well, both part of, including uh, Bortina, um, Bortina website. Asking for art photos, asking female fans to describe their first, as you can see here, um, I'm, I'm making fun of a fan for getting a tattoo in honor. At the time, these conversations um, Borna was having, well, not, we didn't say was having, at the time, Borna was already, already in her 30s. And a major majority of her fans, including included, so included in the chat, was supposedly aged between sixteen and seventeen. However, this did not stop Bona from commenting on their appearance, encouraging bullying, and asking for inappro asking inappropriate questions, such as. When did I lose their fee, their fee card? Um, if I if I talk about um, that age, losing that out loud on my my YouTube video might get um, dismonetized when I monetize it because I do plan to monetize this video the video in the future. Um, so yeah, here we go. Right. Yeah. 
and my videos i think if, if if i keep doing shorts my video will get monetized pretty well maybe like the end of next year i'm hoping for my videos my videos to get monetized by the end of next year so yeah and i'll be for 600 subscribers by the end of this year so yeah we go other allegations were made against the youtuber inside by funds to visit Bullinger, Bullinger in Dublin. She, she, where she ultimately left him alone after repeatedly giving him the incorrect information as to where to go. He, he states. He also states that Bullinger. Um, Seemed annoyed when 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 she was found out that she was found out that his parents were accompanying him. Would accompany him. So yeah, we got fans that were minors and the way she conducted herself uh she's been accused of like asking for ass pics from her fans and again most of these fans are minor were minors at the time she'd even send really weird videos to them it's just there's been a ton of evidence of very unacceptable shit so she's been accused of like grooming as well as being a predator and this video that she made is her response to those very serious allegations all aboard the toxic gossip train Chugging down the tracks of misinformation, the toxic gossip train. You got a one way ticket to manipulation station. Nah, she's giving us a one way ticket to defecation station because this is some shit here. I don't know how she thought this was a good idea at all. She doesn't even disprove any of the allegations, she just calls it the toxic gossip train. Like it's some kind of little musical number out of Magic School Bus or something that she's not taking seriously. In the face of very serious claims, she decides to put on the entire clown outfit and grab her trusty ukulele and go to battle. But it's not really a battle because she doesn't even really tackle any of the claims. She doesn't refute anything or... Exactly what I said in, in, in my portion of the video. She, well, this is to my portion of the video. She doesn't really, really refute... Um refute any of the claims he doesn't go over any of the claims he does basically say this toxic is 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 um gossip and it's untrue but she's not actually going over the claims she, people are accusing of that but she never mentioned what she's been accused of at all so yeah someone could come to this video not knowing what it is and but completely be completely confused after the actual research they won't get answers from just watching this video or defend herself she just Makes a song. Toxic gossip train. Tie me to the tracks and harass me for my past. Cause rumors look like facts. If you don't mind the gaps, I won't survive in the crash. But hey, at least you're having fun. I'm sorry to keep pausing this so frequently, I just have so much to say, and trust me, I'm really doing you a favor with all of these breaks here to give you a brief, like, respite from the, uh, fucking unbelievable cringe. Like, this is some pure, undiluted, unhinged delusion here. This is so strong, I feel like it needs to be added to the periodic table, like the element of delusion that she is displaying here. Like, this song is fucking haunted, honestly. This is like that track out of Courage a Cowardly Dog with Velvet Vic, where it, like, sucks you into the, the record player. That's this song, but it sucks you into a group chat where she's, like, asking about your first period and asking for ass pics or something. But the reason I'm pausing it here is because this is something she falls back on a lot in the song, and I don't want to just keep playing too much of the song. She seems to think that a lot of people are taking pleasure in watching all of this and says, like, Oh, it's all untrue, but you're just doing it because it's entertaining and you're having fun. I've never fully understood that perspective because I imagine most people don't have fun learning that people they grew up watching or people they were at least aware of being a big influence turned out to be absolute fucking scumbags, groomers, predators, all these horrible things. Like, no one has fun with accusations like that, I don't think. Certainly not the victims of it. The victims of Miranda Sings, Colleen Ballinger here, definitely aren't having any fun here. This has been- Okay, so if you want to see more on this video, I have to go to Penguin's account 
Um, so yeah, so he kind of sum up what I said in those five minutes. And basically, yeah. Okay. So thank you for watching this video. I know we were short. Well, I say short. Let's check how long it's been. Yeah, it was fairly. It was a fairly short video. It was a fairly short reaction video. Um, it could have been longer. But thank you for watching this video. Bye and peace.